morning everyone welcome to the first day of june wow it's already the sixth month of the year and we just want to bless the lord he has truly truly been gracious to us um, and if you are in my part of the united states uh, if you are in the united states and you are up and alive this morning you really need to thank god and if you are home safe and sound you really need to thank god we are going through some things right now but we trust god that everything will be all right it's the month of June, and I'm praying God that it will be the beginning of the best part of the rest of the year. The first part has been really, really difficult, but I want us to use the month of June as preparation for the rest of this year, so that whatever seems to have been lost, whatever grounds we may seem to have lost, and I'm using the word seem, um, whatever may seem lost that we'll be able to um, gather it back um, before the end of this year. So welcome again to the month of June. Please go ahead, share, like us on Facebook, um, start a watch party right now. Um, if somebody doesn't have um, Facebook, let them know that they can go and watch us on, on YouTube uh, within an hour. This week, I want to look at carelessness. Carelessness. And so that we can take a hold on our life and not be casual. A few years back, I don't remember exactly when, I think it was in the year 2008. Um, I, that was the time I left my secular employment. It was 2008, 2009, I'm not really sure. And I had gone for a conference in um, South Carolina in, um, um, at the Cove, um, Billy Graham's, um, Billy Graham's um, retreat center. It was an evangelism uh, training. And I remember at the end of that training, I think we were a little over 300 who attended the training. At the end, we were sort of having like, um, you know, people were allowed to say a word or two. And that day I, I, I just, I don't know what possessed me actually. And I just stood up and I said, hmm, what we have in the United States, it's so, it's so precious and that we should be careful and not take the freedom and the blessings we have for granted because it's very easy um, um, that America should not think that what has happened in other countries less developed like um, the, 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 in um, developing countries that they sh we shouldn't think that it can't happen right here and at that time I was talking about you know the kind of governments that we had uh, in Africa, and which we still have, and the kind of trouble, the lack of leadership and lack of direction has um, brought on, on many African nations. On hindsight, I realized that that was actually a prophetic word I gave for America. Like I said, I, I don't know what possessed me to get up and say something. And they all looked at me like, what is she talking about? First of all, this woman, woman, black, with an accent, what she is saying to us. I wish I could get the recording of that day. Um, I, I, I'm not sure they recorded that part of, of, of whatever transpired, but I really want to listen to it word for word what I said, because this is exactly what is playing out right now. And the word I said to them was, be careful, be careful. We must not take anything for granted. In America, we have taken liberty for granted. The freedom that we have enjoyed, the democracy we have enjoyed, we have taken it for granted. We have not guarded it well. Look at what we are in right now. You don't cut your, your nose to spite your face. Liberty is so precious. Democracy is so precious. Faith is so precious. The first thing America was careless with was its faith in God. This country was founded on Christian principles, founded by people who wanted to serve God. Somewhere along the line, because of the liberty that the gospel gives us, we took that liberty for granted. 
We started to chase after other gods. We devalued the value of Christian teaching, of biblical principles that God had given. America reneged on the covenant it had with God. America is a Christian nation founded on covenant. Freedom of religion. And now what the whole world looked at and envied and wanted has been thrashed. Democracy that America wanted to sell to the whole world has now been totally rubbished. It's been rubbished because anything that is not backed by the power of God will fail, no matter how good it may seem to be. Any government that is not of God, any system of government that does not listen to God, will fail. My prayer is that this great country that so many of us love will not fail. Why are we on the brink of failure? Because we've been careless. As Christians, we have been careless. In 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 11, the Bible says to us, Don't let Satan take an advantage of you. Don't be ignorant of his devices. When you are ignorant of the devices of the devil, he takes advantage. Remember I'm saying that I want us to prepare for the rest of the year. To prepare for the rest of the year, we must take a hold on our lives and on our issues and not be careless. I was watching the news yesterday. I could not believe my eyes when I saw the number of cities in which protests were taking place and those protests, some of them escalated to violence, some of them escalated to looting. Actually, yesterday we went out for the first time in nearly three months, my husband and I, we wanted to just visit a few church members. We didn't tell them we were coming. As we stepped out, we will get to the, to, to, we were parked by the, the, the roadside side in their house. We didn't even go into their driveways. We will call them from our phone. We'll say we are at your door, they will come out. And we just waved at them and said, God bless you. We just want to say hello and we were on our way again. There was a family we visited yesterday. When we were going, there was nothing. Within 15 minutes going back the same route, protesters had gathered. I said to my husband, I said, it's time to go home. <laughs> it's time to go home. Lord, please get us home safe. We must not be ignorant of the devices of the devil. I want us to understand that what is going on right now, it's the devil that is at work. What is prowling our streets, it's the devil that is at work. He started with COVID, and now we have the disaffection, the dissatisfaction, 
the anger that has built up over years spilling out again. We must not be careless. It's time to start to pray. When you see some things happening, you have to look at why they are happening. Your spiritual antenna needs to be open and tuned in to catch signals from heaven. The devil is after America. Unless we turn back in repentance, unless we go back to love, unless we stand on righteousness and justice, God forbid that we have a conflagration here in this nation. It's time to pray. It's time to seek the face of God. It's time to put away godliness and racism. I mean, it's time to put away racism and get to godliness with love. It's time to say no to the devil. Righteousness and justice. And justice must be the justice must be the same for everyone, otherwise, it is not justice. God hates lies. And when justice is not the same for everyone, it is a lie and a sham. And God it's that. On equal balance, God hates it. Don't let us be careless. What is going on right now in this nation is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. The problems you are battling with in your life is a spiritual battle for your soul. Do not be ignorant. Do not be careless. Tomorrow, I'll share more with you on the theme or the topic careless. As we go, 2 Corinthians 2 verse 11, do not be ignorant of the devices of the devil so he does not take advantage of you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord bless you. For that person who is weeping, you've been weeping. May my God wipe the tears from your eyes. And put joy and laughter in your heart. God bless you, everyone. Good morning. It's Fumi Obilano on Reflections. <laughs>